any type versus Notion. Well, if you are looking for note-taking software, then you probably have come across these names and wondered which one is the better fit for you. Today, we're going to have a look at both of them and we're going to figure out which one comes out on top. So let's get into it. So once we jump into any type features, you'll realize how good the software actually is. So any type actually stands out with pretty great offline capabilities, which is unusual. It allows you to access and edit documents without an internet connection. The feature is particularly useful for anybody that works in diverse environments and may not always have a reliable internet access. AnyType also utilizes decentralization storage, giving you greater control over your data. The approach not only enhances security, but also allows for a more private experience compared to your traditional cloud-based solutions. The platform supports various rich content blocks, including images, videos, and embeds, enabling you to create dynamic and engaging documents. The versatility enhances the way information is actually presented and consumed. AnyType offers customizable templates as well to help anybody kickstart their project. The feature allows for a quick setup and it provides a foundation for a consistent documentation across your teams. You can also take advantage of advanced tagging and linking functions that enable better organization of information and easy navigation between related content. This enhances the user experience overall by simplifying the retrieval of relative data. Also, any type places a strong emphasis on user privacy, allowing anybody to decide who can view or edit their content. This really does focus on privacy and it makes it appealing for anybody that's concerned about their data security. Let's have a look at any type's drawbacks. As a relatively new tool, any type may have fewer third party integrations compared to the more established platforms. This could limit the functionality slightly. Also, with a smaller user base, finding community support and resources may be slightly challenging. This could slow down the learning process and hinder the troubleshooting of issues. Notion, Notion, Notion. So, Notion does have amazing features. Let's jump straight into them. So Notion serves as an all-in-one workspace combining notes, databases, task management, calendars, and a whole lot more into one single platform. The comprehensive approach allows you to streamline your workflow and enhance productivity. Notion also provides a wide array of templates for different projects and workflows, catering to diverse needs from project management to personal organization. These templates can help anybody save time and maintain consistency. The platform also includes fantastic collaboration features that allow you and your team to work together in real time. The functionality is essential for remote teams and improves communication among members. Notion's powerful database capabilities enable you to create intricate databases tailored to your specific needs. The feature allows for advanced organization and retrieval of information. Notion supports Markdown. This allows you to format text quickly and efficiently. The functionality is particularly appealing to anybody who prefers keyboard shortcuts for document creation. Notion's cross-device synchronization also ensures that you can access your content across multiple devices quickly and easily, and this flexibility enhances the overall user experience for anybody who is on the go constantly. Let's have a look at one or two of Notion's drawbacks. So the first thing that I like to mention is the extensive features and capabilities, which can lead to a steeper learning curve for new users or anybody that is unfamiliar. This can really result in slower onboarding, and this is particular for teams that are unfamiliar with such complexity. Some users have also reported some performance issues when dealing with very large databases, which may of course hinder your productivity. The limitation could also be a concern for teams managing extensive data sets. So talking about note-taking apps, they all have such wonderful features. Uh, there's, there's so many things that you can actually do with the software. It's more than just simple note-taking. And, um, you know, they, they have so much to offer. But at the end of the day, the takeaway is 
going to use the software, uh, going to use the app and seeing which one actually works for your specific needs. If this video was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.